What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back with some more Space Engineers. Uh, I did a video not very long ago that did a bit of a tutorial introduction to the game, and in that comments on the video I got asked a few questions and how to demonstrate a few things, and one of the ones that really intrigued me was uses for solar power, because it's not been really used a huge amount in any of my stuff up till this point, and it's not been that viable to use it up until quite recently. Uh, in fact, after someone asked this question, and I kind of ummed and erred about what I could really do with solar power, they introduced a few bits that kind of spurred some ideas together. So this video is just going to talk a little bit about some, some concepts, not all the concepts by any means, but some concepts I've come up with for what you can do with solar power to make it actually useful and a viable thing. Now, as with all my previous videos, this is going to be survival orientated. So everything in here is kind of geared towards a survival game and a little bit towards a survival game involving factions. So starting off with what's in front of me right here, which is probably that was the first idea I had and the most basic of them. As you can see, we've basically just got a station platform here with some solar panels on it and with some turrets on it. Now obviously the turrets are being powered by the solar, but there is also, incomplete at the moment because it's just drawing power, a tube network that goes down into the platform, into the middle of this asteroid, and if I go through this hole here, into the insides, some light. This is where it comes out inside, it leads into this room where it powers, very simply, a med bay. So that's shared with my faction, and if at any point we lose power on the platform, say we come under attack from another faction, say we forget to fill up the fuel, easily possible. Down here, this will constantly be running off that solar generator, that generator is not connected to the rest of the platform, so the solar panels power what's down here and what's down here only. And it's also slowly charging up, although it's not charged up yet, this big battery. And should, for whatever reason, the solar panels be destroyed, say as part of an attack, even though they've got defense on them themselves, that battery should be able to run the emergency med bay down here for long enough that people could respawn, get in and repair what was necessary. So in theory, with this, we've always got the ability to respawn and it's all running off that solar power. It's not connected to anything else, so it doesn't require fuel, it doesn't require reactors, none of that. That was the first idea I had, and then, yeah, while useful, it's kind of a basic concept. So I then decided to move on to some other things you could do with solar power and sort of other ideas of what exactly you could do with it. So over here, and this is obviously quite a lot larger, we have a big solar array, which is sitting on some, it's a small ship, so it's sitting on some feet to make sure that it's pointing straight at the sun up there. Uh, so that we've got really good efficiency across all these solar panels. You can see they've all got four lights at the bottom and those lights tell you uh, how efficient they're being. And these are charging these ranks of batteries, which are attached to merge blocks. Now, you can probably guess from those two things in the background there, what this is going to be is the basis for a rechargeable battery powered ship. Um, now, these have had to have small generators on them in order to make it kind of functional so you can change between batteries but if I press 9 to turn the generators on you can see that this little block now is all powered up it's got its own engines and I can just fly over here line myself up with a battery which is not too difficult these merge blocks are really quite forgiving as far as how they function so you can line yourself up with a battery merge on do, 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 do. bit that way backwards down, backwards, yeah, there we go. So we're now emerged on, connected to this platform, and if I, having labelled these before, I know that, what have I got at the moment? I am on, I'm on the big red battery. So if I take this big red battery and put it on my toolbar, toggle block on and off, I can then press that button to detach from the platform, and I am now, with the reactors off, running purely on battery power. So this was sort of a concept for a, sort of a rechargeable ship system, and as some people might notice, there's actually a module block on the front and another one on the back of here that are not being used at the moment. And that's because I did take this concept and kind of expand it and go a lot, lot further with this idea of a modular ship setup that you could use these merge blocks and these batteries to uh, kind of build whatever purpose ship you needed all off this sort of basic concept and everything would be battery powered and everything would run off the sun. So you'd never need any fuel for any of it. And these batteries, with the, how they're set up, they're all on that auto recharge. And with that auto recharge on, they take about 30 minutes to charge up, plugged into this massive solar system. So it's not hugely efficient, but it does do the job. Uh, so this is now a ship, as you can see, it's running purely on battery. And even if I uh, 
you know, go really aggressive with the maneuvering, it's actually got multiple hours worth of fuel left in it. So it does work, it does function. And as I said, I took this whole concept a little bit further with the idea of a modular ship. Uh, and that's kind of what you can see bits of up there. And I have done quite a lot of work on that, but that I'm going to save for a, a future video as this one's purely to do with solar power. So this is kind of one potential use for your solar power. You've got these battery powered ships and you could then attach bits onto them to do various bits. And one of the things I thought might be useful, functional for one of these little ships is what I've got parked up over here. So this is kind of the third use, or the third idea I had for what you could use solar power for that would be unique and really functional. So if we fly over to these two little bits over here, uh, we have two of basically the same thing. The idea behind these is that they are using the new antenna network mobile relays so that you can, as you can probably see, I am see if I reverse a bit further. I am over 800 meters, which is the max antenna broadcast distance from those objects on the platform. But they are being relayed by these, which have antennas on them, so that I can still see what's going on. And in a faction scenario, they would also be highlighting to people on the platform incoming targets of whatever kind, be they friendly or enemy. And the two different variants we have down here, uh, one of them is a variant designed to work with this craft. So. It's got a little merge block on the back. It's very straightforward. Merge block, solar panels, a foot, uh, and an antenna. And that's all there is on there. And the idea being, I'm, I'm not going to bother demonstrating it, but you would reverse onto that, lock on. Uh, it would then become part of this ship. You could detach the foot and drive and place it wherever you need it. Attach it to a rock in a suitable location, and it will sit there. And as long as it's within 800 meters of the platform itself, it will relay all the information back. So that's kind of one of the two. The other one we have up here sort of moves away this is the first one i built before i'd done the uh, modular ships and this one moves away from the idea of being modular and it is itself just a tiny little ship that's completely solar powered so there's no reactor on this whatsoever uh, but if i turn off the antenna and turn on the engines it's just about got enough power from the sun to move itself around it does overload but you know it is it's also a bit based upon how towards the sun you're pointing. So if I point towards the sun, it's actually got plenty of power like this. But as soon as I turn away, and the solar panels are no longer operating as efficiently, it will overload. But the idea being that this could then be in a faction war scenario, for example, or whatever you might be doing. Maybe you just want to know when the cargo ships are approaching. You could take this, and then you could go and place it within 800 meters anywhere you like. So this doesn't have to be fixed to anything in order to work. Just as long as it's within 800 meters of where you started. So let's my damper's struggling like hell to slow the ship down. Let's give them a bit more sun. There we go. So as long as this is within 800 meters of where you started, so you can see over there, the um, beacon we started at is now 500 or so meters away. I can make sure the ship's not moving. I can turn off the engines, turn on the antenna, and this will act as another extender range. So this will extend the range even further out. So I can now go further than 800 meters from that beacon and I'll be able to see it because of this mobile relay. And between those the idea was you could make a really easy solar powered self-sufficient network of antennas that were telling you all the information you needed to know about the area and also if need be you could then take this idea further and fit some weapons onto them. I mean I wouldn't say it's an ideal platform for that you could put some some basic turrets on there and use these for uh, maybe missile defense, uh, meteor defense that sort of idea have some on the asteroids around wherever your base may be but uh, aside from that, they're never going to be that effective as sort of a fighter or anything like that, because these solar panels just do not produce enough power for that. Uh, that was kind of the big problem the whole way through this solar idea, is the solar panels don't really produce much power. So you had to focus on something that was autonomous in some way. It was the idea of making it so that you were making autonomous craft that then wouldn't need any further interaction with unless you wanted to move them around or do something else with them, rather than trying to take something that would normally be fuel powered and make it into something that's solar powered. That doesn't seem to be a particularly efficient use for solar panels. This is very much better off using them in these sorts of environments. So that's kind of it for my first ideas on solar power. Uh, there are a few more bits I'm working on, but sort of as I play around with this, I'm coming up with more ideas for how to do various things. Uh, and also, as I've said, I will shortly, next couple of days, have a video out talking through the modular ship design and how I've gone about making it work and making it actually practical and functional because 
trust me, I've, it's quite complex and there's quite a lot of merge blocks involved. So without thinking it through and creating sort of various action groups and so on to make things easier for yourself, it can be very difficult to actually pull it off. And wow, that solar panel's both blinding and FPS killing. Uh, it can be quite difficult to pull it off in a way that actually is functional. And I do feel at the moment like I've got this set up to a point where it is quite easy to use. You know, it's not not difficult but that's for the next video hopefully you guys are intrigued to see that and hopefully this has given you some ideas for what you can do yourselves with solar panels because they're quite cool obviously with the introduction of the batteries and the merge blocks and so on you can do quite a lot more stuff with them than you used to be able to have a play around and maybe this has given you a bit of inspiration for sort of something a little bit out of the box to what you can do with solar panels so thanks a lot for listening guys and i will see you next time